my beautiful Gemini dragons, welcome to your reading for the new moon for July 2021, July 9th. Okay, so <clears throat> first of all, a few things. Um, I'm trying to do all the signs for all my readings. I know that in my past one, if you've been following me, I've done past elements. Um, so fire, earth, water, air. And I said in my last uh, monthly that I was just going to be doing the moons like that. And now I'm trying to do all of them. So please just bear with me. <laughs> I'm trying to get through all the readings. That's why it's so important that you do like um, and subscribe so that you know when you're getting all these beautiful, amazing readings from me. But also, um, as you like them, those are what I look at when I'm doing the bonuses towards the end of the month. So if you want a bonus, be sure to like um, the videos um, that you wish to see. Um, also, please do like and subscribe because it does help my channel get out to other people as well. So I do appreciate um, your sharing my passion and trying to promote it throughout the YouTube universe. So thank you. I do appreciate that. So let's get on with your reading. So first of all, this new moon. Okay, so for, this is the third sign now to get this. So I don't know if this is a timing thing or if this is really what it is. Gemini. You have, you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Um, you have nothing will come of this situation. And balance spirituality and practicality. So whatever the situation is, it's funny because I get a heavy little pit in my stomach with it. So it's like you're expecting something to come, right? You're, um, you're having an expectation of something, but it's not going to happen. Um... I don't think it's a negative thing. Usually when we think nothing's going to happen, it's like, oh, I don't get that. I get that you might be, because you're Gemini and you tend to be in your head a lot, I get the idea that maybe, you know how, um, what, what is the saying? If you worry about something that hasn't happened, if it doesn't happen, you've already lived through it once, but if it does happen, you've lived through it, you've made yourself live through it twice, right? So you don't know what's going to happen, so not to worry about it. And that's what I'm getting from this nothing will come of this situation, is that um, whatever you think um, is going to happen isn't, right? So now it could be you know, the universe kicking your butt and saying, hey, you need to let go of this. Or it could be the universe saying, you know what, you're going to need to, um, you know, let go of any negativity that you're feeling in this situation or um, any anxiety or fears that you have. Um, let me tell you that this full moon, new moon, not full, sorry, this new moon in Cancer, that's happening, that this reading is for, is about pulling up past um, things, right? If people might come back. Um, and it's about releasing them and letting them go for once and for all. Not them, but the situation. Could be something just that happens in your mind. Something comes up. You could be very emotional at this time. Okay, and this goes for all signs, okay? So that's just the general what the moon is about. So, yeah. Let's see. And remember, this is the timing over the new moon. This also may be things that need to be worked out through this new moon um, to help you. And then as we do the mid-month and as we do the full moon and the bonuses, you know, we may get clear pictures if we stay with this energy. We'll see. Remember, this is just divinely guided. This is... Um, <laughs> I just got a, I just got something pulled to me. I'm, I'll, I'll say it. Just a second. Let me see. Is there any more cards? Ah, oh, thank you. I'm like, just bring them out, please. Okay. So, I don't know what these cards are, but, okay. There is going to be a judgment. Okay. Um... So you have the King of Wands in reverse, so you could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, the King of Wands in reverse is very um, ruthless, very hasty, 
um, very fiery but mean, okay? They're impulsive, they're ruthless, and um, very quick, right? Um, and this is talking about an, um, an adult sort of um, male. So this is somebody who's supposed to be mature, but they're reversed. So they are, um, they can be um, very ruthless, right? Like just not a very nice person. They could be coming back with this judgment card. Uh, you're going to be weighing your options. Now this is also about um, finding absolution with them. I get the feeling like, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and I think that's what this, nothing will come of this situation. I feel like they're getting, this could be a karmic cycle, but I feel like it was a bad one, and they're, um, they're causing negativity, but I feel like it's actually going back on themselves, because nothing will come of this. I feel like they don't have power over you anymore, because you have the Judgment card. Right, and it's funny because judgment is fire as well. The wheel of fortune is fire as well. Wow, you guys are really dealing with some either major fire energy. Maybe you have a lot of fire in your chart, but fire, fire, fire. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is them. This isn't you. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody and they're going to get their justice and desserts. So you need to, or just desserts. Just desserts? No, maybe that's not what I'm thinking of. I think I said the wrong thing. Um, but balance spirituality and practicality. You need to stay balanced to get through this, okay? Because you and your loved ones are safe at this time, right? Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I'm just getting all this story about this other person. So, whoever this, so you're having courage and strength, right? Um, this is about making the choice. And, but then this comes up and it's talking about not moving on. I don't know why I'm getting the feeling like this isn't your reading. This is somebody else. Okay. Just, I, I just need more clarification. I need to get another deck. Um, hmm, can we clarify this situation over here? I'm pretty sure I, I get this situation. I know what this is easily. I feel like, I feel like this is you. Okay, Gemini, and this is you in your own little bubble. And I get like, this is one situation. And I get that this is another situation. Because this is strength. Okay, now this is also Leo, okay, but this is strength, courage, patience, right, two of swords, okay, making it, so this is about not making a decision, so if you're strong to not make a choice to not move on, um, but this goes in with nothing will come, you know, I think that this is all this person, they ha can't move on from this, they're cyclically keep coming around and come around and what I feel is you're just like keep pushing them back away and you're just like huh, like just like get out of here will you it's sort of like that storyline this is why I hate doing love readings is because the ex back thing right it's like oh your ex is coming back your ex is coming back well you know what sometimes we just want to release our ex we just want to be rid of them Right? And sometimes they keep coming back and it's not in a good way. That King of Wands in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, like, I really feel like, um, yeah, like nothing's going to come of this, obviously. But I think that this isn't anything new. Cards, can you please give me some foresight? Can we please talk about Gemini? Please. I don't know why all of this, it's almost like this is all reassuring. Oh, okay. So, yay. So here we go. Foresight. So Gemini, King of Cups. So it looks like you have this amazing, strong, um, grown up coming in to help bring you stability, right? Could be a water sign, right? You have the four of swords. Okay. So you, you've rested, right? You're resting. 
you're relaxing, you're calm, you're at peace, okay? King of Cups could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they're helping bring balance, okay, and peace. And, um, and you've also, you've done the work, right? Like, I really feel like this whole past, oh, I just knocked my remote down. Yeah, you're moving on from financial troubles, okay? So you're, you're going to be moving away from spiritual, like, I feel like your spirituality, you almost felt like your spirituality was sucked out of you from this situation, because this, this is a bad karmic cycle. But I feel like you've sort of moved on from this, right? Or your loved ones are safe. Like this is over here, right? I think this goes here. Nothing's going to come out of this, right? You've made that judgment call that nothing's going to come of this. And that's fine. And once you balance your spirituality and practicality, right? This is, this is good. So you're going to be, and maybe you're coming into your King of Cups, right? You're going to be creating um, good karma, okay? Page of Wands. Mm-hmm. Now, careful. Mm, I have a feeling that actually I don't get it careful with this. This is all here. We're in our forward energy. And I feel ooh, I feel that you're going to have somebody's like watching you go through this. And somebody is watching you become and grow. And I think they find that very attractive. Okay. Either as a friend or as a lover. Yeah. And as you put death to the situation, right? So you're, you're creating this new beginning, right? This is totally a new beginning right yeah you can have a new beginning gemini yeah ace of swords right there's new communication coming in new 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 no x back new okay so there's truth coming out okay you're having some mental clarity right yeah you have your seven of cups you have lots of options okay it's like the world is your oyster now watch these options there's snakes in there too but there's also jewels and love and all, all things amazing. So just watch. Don't get stuck with your head in the clouds. Can you tell me what's ahead? Can you tell me what's ahead? Just give me a second, guys. Reorganizing. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So the page of coins came in the reverse. So I'm feeling like, um, you feel like you may have missed an opportunity. Um, ah, you missed by sticking with this and by doing this, you actually avoided having another tower moment, right? So, and I don't mean um, that in a bad way, okay? You might be afraid of change a little bit, right? When it comes, somebody comes in with stability. Um, so but don't be fearful, but I feel like you're avoiding all these huge moments, right? So this whole nothing will come like, I think that really has to do with the tower, right? So if something's coming, you have the tower. But I think that you've done the work, Gemini. You've done a lot of work and a lot of introspection. And I think this person wants to keep creating towers for you. And once you put death to this, right? I think that so nothing will come of this, but it is going to create something for you in your future. Okay, guys? That's really what I get. Yeah, and it's funny because when I was doing this, when I was doing that last shuffle, I said, please, I was like, give me a 10. I said, tell me what this is pertaining to. Give me a 10 so that it's sort of like a very, it's a new beginning, right? It's the ending and the completions of something and tell me what this 10 is. And look, you got the 10 of pentacles. That is so beautiful. It's at the bottom of the deck. This is your underlying energy. So this is about like wealth and health and family and, um, and it's just everything. It's about stability and being established, like your pentacles, right? It's it's everything that you need to feel stable in this life, right? It's in this world all stems from here because a 10 of pen pentacles can easily open you up to the 10 of cups, right? It's, it's about this beautiful golden archway, right? And it's, it's just, it's just there waiting for you, right? You just got to walk through it. Okay, guys. So Gemini, beautiful reading. 
keep going ahead. Remember, if you're dealing with somebody that's uh, not a very awesome human being, okay, nothing will come of it, okay? Keep your head up. Bye, guys.